Hi, I'm Kelly with Kelly's Reviews and Suggestions, blog spot. I'm going to show you the way to do an aphid trap. Uh, they can be real bad pests in the garden and destroy it. Uh, I've got everything here that you need. Um, I already have one done that I'll show you, but they're very attractive to yellow, so I just ordered some yellow solo cups and I have a link on my blog and I have some drill bits and a drill and I took my trusty all-in-one stake that we use for pretty much everything and I marked it pretty much I went like that and then took it off and did another layer um, it can be a little shorter uh, but I like to be on the safe side in case it gets pretty a wet year but um and then i took one long stake and took this one and measured so i have four of them so three here and one done and then we cut them to size and sharpen the edges with our trusty saw really easy to use and then you drill a pilot hole with a drill bit uh, so you don't split it because you know stakes are pretty thin and then you just I found some extra screws we're always keeping all the screws so you don't want a real long screw just something small it can be even a little smaller than that if you have them uh, so what I did was with the pilot hole put in there we uh, drilled this one in and then lined it up with the hole and attached it and then I used my glove and some regular Vaseline and I coated it oh, about, about halfway all the way around and getting a little underneath is fine and then and I measured it just to see what it was, how, how big they were. Then I took my steak with my trap on it. And I have a problem with my daisies. The beetles uh, tore them up. Now the daisies are about done for the year, so I'll be deadheading them and cutting them down. But, let me see. Okay, so they're looking horrible now because it's end of the year for them but all the leaves, all the petals here would start to disappear and then they would go completely empty before they were done and luckily daisies are a strong plant and they'll keep coming back it won't kill them but what i did was i just hammered it down i even missed it see <laughs> and you just make sure it's not touching hammer it down until it's pretty solid it's not moving anywhere and there you go so for more tips and tricks on garden pests or pretty much anything i'm doing uh, quite a variety of stuff come to kelly's reviews and suggestions blogspot.com thank you